On this second episode of Will It Fit, I have this, the brand new 2022 Nissan Frontier. And I'm gonna show you how this midsize truck compares to a brand new segment of pickups, the compact segment. So I'm gonna try to load about seven different items in the back of this Pro 4X Frontier, this brand new one, and show you exactly how it compares against the Hyundai Santa Cruz. So let's start with item number one. The first item on Will It Fit game is the backpack. And here's case to show you exactly what happens when you have a compact unibody chassis, little tiny pickup truck uh, with a backpack. So case, take it away. One of the cool things about the Santa Cruz is that even if you don't have a topper or a tunnel cover, like what this particular Santa Cruz has, you've got this lockable storage underneath. Now you can see it's not a massive, massive area, but it should be enough for something like the backpack that I use to carry food, gym clothes, my laptop to work every day. And obviously I don't want my laptop to be stolen. So when I close that and I close the tailgate and lock the truck, you can't reach down and open up that compartment. So that is secure in there. And actually there's a decent amount of space so we can probably fit even more unlike the santa cruz this is a proper body on frame truck as such i don't have a trunk in here but let me show you the back seat for the backpack just like with most mid-size pickup truck there are a couple of different ways you can fold the rear seat first of all there's a little latch here you can open up the under seat storage and i'll explain this to you in a second or you can also click this pull the tab and lay this down flat and as such you can easily put an item like a backpack here or maybe actually two or three backpacks right there nice and easy this video was made possible by our friends at manscaped manscaped has the best tools on the market for grooming and you know we love a good toolkit well, now you can get the new Waterproof Lawnmower 4.0 in the Performance Pack 4.0 bundle. That's all the tools you need in one. The Lawnmower 4.0 has replaceable ceramic blades, a built in LED, and wireless charging. The kit also includes a weed whacker, nose, and ear hair trimmer to take care of any unsightly messes above the collar. And who could forget about the ball toner and ball deodorant? To keep your toolkit stocked with everything you need, check out the Peak Hygiene Plan. Go to manscaped.com for 20% off of your order plus free international shipping and a free travel bag and a pair of boxer briefs when you use the promo code Fastlane Truck at checkout. Trust me, your body and your balls will thank you. For the second test, Tommy actually went into our office and grabbed a bunch of emergency gear, jackets and toe straps and showed that to you. Uh, here's Tommy. You got the DeWalt jump box with integrated air compressor that fits nicely. Maybe a toe strap. Yep, that looks like it fits in there too. How about a bottle of coolant? That's all in there. And lastly, a coat in case you get stranded. Let's see if all this will close. Barely, but it does work. Yeah, that's great. It once again fits in that trunk, but the Nissan Pro 4X, this Frontier, has a secret, which is that it actually provides your emergency kit for you in these nice bags. Let me show you. This is pretty cool. It's nice and compact. It has this Molly strap uh, here for the backpack and a little bag. And this is a first aid kit. It has gauze, it has bandages, it has little scissors and a bunch of other stuff. And in this bigger bag, Nissan offers more really cool goodies. So first of all, ponchos, you got uh, matches. So if you're camping or have to survive on the mountain road somewhere, you can do it. Also, a toe strap. Some gloves. So all this will help you in an emergency and you don't have to go to your house and get it. It's provided as an accessory for you. And the Frontier has one more trick up its sleeve. You can actually remove these bags and very quickly remove these three locking pins and actually completely remove this under bin storage so you can maybe put a bigger item 
down here. And when you get this premium Fender audio system, you're actually losing a little bit of space because there's a speaker or subwoofer underneath this driver's side rear. A quick review, after two tests, both of these trucks, the Santa Cruz and the Frontier, passed. They did it in different ways, but for this third test, we call it the carry-on. So how do you deal with this? Let's check it out. And I just wanted to show you how long this bed is first, because the Santa Cruz has a four-footer and it has a tonneau cover that kind of removes some of the additional space. Here at the back of the Frontier, it's basically called a five foot bed, but you can see in real life, it's a little bit less, maybe 59 and a half right there or 411. And if I was going to the airport right now, I would do it a couple of different ways. I would either put this here, especially if I had a tunnel cover, which this truck doesn't have as an accessory just in this case, or of course it will roll around. I would put it in the back. Okay, so here it is. It fits really nice here in the back seat. So, and here's what happened to Case when he tried to put a carry-on in the back of the Santa Cruz. This is obviously not a very deep storage section. So even though in terms of footprint, these two things fit, it's obviously not gonna close. However, it doesn't necessarily kill you at the crib because you don't actually need to bring a cooler. This compartment right here has a drain, so you can throw ice in here, you can throw bevies and food in there, and use this as a cooler. And of course, this trunk isn't the only bit of storage that we have. We've got the whole rest of the bed. So yeah, so Case was having fun. He had a cooler there, he had his uh, carry-on suitcase. But the bottom line, both trucks don't offer great solutions for carry-ons. Yes, you could put it inside, of course, but it's not meant for it. Let's move on to the next test, which is actually boxes. These are standard moving boxes. Yes, they're empty. This bigger one is about a five cubic foot size. The smaller one is a three and a half cubic foot size. And here's Tommy trying to insert these into a Santa Cruz. Oh, now the tonneau does actually take a quite a sizable amount of space. Oh, <laughs> look at that. And just like that, our four moving boxes fit like a dream. Of course, the Frontier has a larger volume. There's no doubt. And it's bed lined. It's very, very strong. And I don't anticipate any issues loading any of these boxes in. So I can do this. I can even move it like this. And then I have extra space. Okay, let me uh, grab something else, one sec. And how about a generator? Okay, so just the wall. Okay, there you have it. A generator, four boxes. While Tommy was struggling to actually put the boxes in there just barely, I have extra space. The next test is the lawnmower test. And this is not brought to you by Craftsman or Ryobi. This is brought to you by TFL Truck. Let me show you what happened to Case when he tried to load it in the back of a Santa Cruz. Let's see how this goes. Closing the tailgate, that's pretty easy. I'd say that's a perfect fit. And this is me trying to load a, a very similar sized lawnmower with plenty of space left into the back of the Frontier. And because the Frontier comes with these tie downs, this track system that it's had before, it's very nice and useful to actually tie down your lawnmower or other bigger items so it doesn't move around too much. Okay, so the lawnmower fit in both trucks. For my next test, I'm gonna do will the bicycle fit, but I'm gonna try not one, but two. Here's what happened when Tommy tried to put this Schwinn in the back of the Santa Cruz. And, well, I would call that a win, but just barely. So you can see this rear tire is all the way up against the tonneau. I think that if you're carrying one bike, this is a doable solution, but if you wanted to carry like multiple mountain bikes, 
you either have to get rid of the tonneau or take a couple different Santa Cruz's because uh, it's a pretty short space even with a relatively small bike. This is the beauty of a mid-sized truck versus a compact. The actually, the tailgate and the bed opening is larger. This is about 59 inches wide, almost, for the tailgate, which means I should be able to put more bicycles in here. Let's figure this out. All right, so I'm using the tailgate protector. That's one. By the way, Tommy was even struggling to fit it lengthwise. There's no issue with that here. Or maybe even three, or maybe even four. So yeah, I think Frontier wins this hands down. Whoa! Okay guys, for the next test, it's all about loading off-road toys in the back of the truck. And Alex is here to help me. Thank you, Alex. For sure. So dude, let's load the big one first. But before we do that, let's show what happened to Case and Tommy. Let's see. Oh. Oh. oh no. So I would say if we didn't have this tonneau cover, it would be able to roll far enough forward to close the tailgate, but you could certainly still strap it in with the tailgate down and transport it. It looks like even at an angle, it doesn't want to go. All right, so Tommy and Case could not really fit this machine all the way in. Let's see what happens in the Frontier. Let's do this. Okay, so this weighs a little bit. These are electric, by the way, Razor machines. And look at this. So this first one, fits with no issues. So what else can we do, Alex? Can we do more? Let's see if we can fit this one. This is for the whole crew. This is how we go out uh, to camp with these machines. Aha! And maybe even something like this. Little electric pit bike. Um, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think? Let's see. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect fit, Frontier check, compact pickup for small jobs. The final test has to do with loading a motorcycle like that Ducati Scrambler in the back of the truck. And of course, Alex is gonna help me, uh, but it also has to do with payload. And this is gonna be a huge surprise for you because this Frontier Pro 4X actually has a lower payload than the Santa Cruz compact truck. But before we try to put the motorcycle in the Frontier, let's see what happened to the guys with the Santa Cruz. So this uh, little tonneau cover is definitely not helping our situation. No, and honestly, I think if it were not there, it'd still be a really, really tight fit. So even if that front tire was all the way up against the front of the bed, the back tire would just barely be on the tailgate. Definitely not at a comfortable spot for hauling this any distance at all. Yes? Yep, I'll go for it. Okay. Booyah! Well, this is what the Pro 4X was really made to do, is actually bring a cool bike like this maybe to uh, somewhere off the beaten path. And look at this. Full of fits on the tailgate, now we can tie it down, and it's happy, easy peasy. At the end of the day, pickup trucks are about work. Actually, payload, how much weight they can carry, and also towing. The Santa Cruz is rated at 5,000 pounds of towing with their turbocharged engine and all-wheel drive models, which is pretty good, actually. And this Frontier is rated at about 6,720 pounds of maximum towing. But, uh, if you look at payload stickers, this Frontier, has about 1,020 pounds of payload capacity, and the Santa Cruz had 1,411 pounds. Here's Tommy showing you the payload on the Santa Cruz. So this is one of the coolest features on the Santa Cruz, the payload capacity, 1,411. That is a astonishing amount of payload on not only a compact pickup, but any kind of pickup. I mean, that's that's pretty good even for a full-size class. Some of the full-size trucks we get have under a thousand pounds, 1,400. But the story doesn't end there because in the Santa Cruz, the bed itself has a different payload. The bed payload on the Santa Cruz is rated at about 650 pounds. 
this bike weighs under 500 pounds so technically it's okay but in a truck like this body and frame it doesn't really matter where you put the weight you can put a thousand pounds here you can put a thousand pounds of people in there so a truck with a frame is a little bit different but i'm pretty surprised that this nissan has a lower payload than that santa cruz so there you have it guys the frontier passed every test it was able to fit the motorcycle all these toys boxes etc it also is a frame based truck so it can tow more than the santa cruz it has a full size spare underneath uh, so there you have it let me know what you think did it shock you that the santa cruz has more payload than this truck well it surprised me and as always go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news views and real world truck reviews